Hey there, fellas. All right, so in today's episode... Wow, that is one hell of a horn. Anyway, so we're having fun in this one. Check out what I got here. First off, we have a lot of... Lot of... I also got a clutch disc and a big disc for an angle grinder. So we got one disc and another one and a car. And given that a lot of people have been asking, I say we try making a clutch disc out of this here angle grinder disc. What'll happen? How is this even gonna work? I reckon it's gonna be tons of fun. Especially once we get the whole thing to work. Cutting this out might be a bit complicated, but we'll get there. Okay, let's make us a clutch disc. I mean, remove the stuck friction material and replace it with a disc for an angle grinder. And see how it operates. Okay, let's do this. Here's something we need to consider. When we glued stuff on, like that ceramic plating... Yeah, we stuck a lot of stuff on. Anyway, we ran into certain issues. We tried using various different glues, including epoxy. And they'd come apart either when they got hot, or under pressure, due to vibration. Anyway, check this out. I have gone out and bought some of this wonderful glue right here. It's called BS10T. And it's the type of glue they use to stick friction material to brake pads. It's heat-resistant, and it's very durable in general. We've never used it before, so we have some instructions. Apparently, you have to bake it. Okay, I mean... Once we cut the disc out, we'll use this wonderful glue to stick the material on, and that way it ain't gonna be going anywhere. And we're not gonna have to try and guess the reason why something broke. Alright, let's do this. Check it out. Here we have a standard clutch disc. And here's the one we made. What can I tell you? The baking process went well. Almost broke it. The special adhesive worked very well. Again, it's specifically made for such applications. And by using it, we won't have to guess what failed. The disc is ready to be installed. So let's do just that. So we didn't stick on the smoother side. Instead, we did the one that's gritty, for better bite. Anyway, it's ready for use, we're looking good. Time for assembly, followed by testing. Let's do this. Okay, guys, so we've got the clutch disc in there. The one we made from an angle grinder disc. 
And we've cut out a piece of the gearbox in order to be able to see inside. We expect we might see sparks flying. That'd be fun. Without the opening, we obviously wouldn't see anything. But now that it's there, we need to try this out. Now inside the car, I've got... Fired up. Give it a try. Clutch doesn't work? It does. I don't see any sp sparks flying. I can hear a whirring noise, but I don't see any sparks. That's odd. I mean, obviously iron won't create sparks like steel will, but shouldn't we still see something? Some gas, please. Yeah, something is happening. Okay, there we go. It is creating sparks. We just had to turn the lights off. This being iron, they're a bit dim, and we simply couldn't see them while the lights were on. What happened? You ran out of gas? Okay, let's bring it down. Okay, we are ready to do some testing. Let me start the engine, get it in gear, and here we go. Wow, you know what's amazing? You'd never tell that there's an angle grinder disc in there. The action is just like on a normal disc. The steering is a bit heavy, but we're not interested in the steering. We want to know what's happening down there. It actually feels just like a regular factory clutch disc. It is making this weird sort of squealing noise. But then rock will obviously be cutting into metal, so... Or maybe it's not that bad? Yeah, it works like... Awesome, stalled it. Holy cow. Who would have thought that this would work? It works the full 107. Nice. What if I'm... Very nice. Yeah, check that out. I barely start to release the clutch and already the car is moving. Yeah, this has plenty of grip. My guess is that it's down... to the large surface area, that's why it grips so well. Okay, now let me... stop the car... and try setting off more abruptly. Is it gonna work? I reckon it should. It is definitely emitting a sort of squeal. Why, though? Must be the throw-out bearing. It sets off like a dream. Very nice. The clutch works very well. The wheels spin. The engine attempts to stall. There you go. I mean, it's not all that powerful to begin with. We are doing very well. I really hope we have sparks flying down there.
This is lovely. So at the end of the day, sparks mean the disc is cutting into the flywheel, the pressure plate as well. You know what? We'd better continue going back and forth. In theory, all of the scratches should disappear. We'll see if that's true a bit later. For now, we'll continue going back and forth. Let the disc grind everything down. Then we'll remove the gearbox, as well as the pressure plate, and see what the disc did to it and the flywheel. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so check this out. We've removed everything, it's all looking good, and here we have the flywheel. It is a tad hot, but that's not a problem. The spots have to be burn marks from before. Let's evaluate the damage. Honestly, it's just gotten smooth. I mean, it always was. This isn't a brake rotor where you've got those big, deep grooves. Well, you got them here too. But you can't really even feel them. I'm guessing the disc could have grinded them out. Let's take a look at it now. As for the disc... Wow, this is pretty cool. Here's what happened to the disc. It seems like only the inner and outer edges of it were gripping. The rest of the surface wasn't even touching the flywheel, as you can plainly see. Apparently, when we were cutting this out, the material expanded in these spots, and this is what came out of it as a result. And it's the same story on both sides. Yet even this small a contact area was enough for the car to drive perfectly fine. Okay, moving along. Here we have the pressure plate. It looks about the same as the flywheel. The part where the material got expanded, you can tell that this edge has become super smooth, as if it were polished. In the middle, you still got those grooves that you can feel with your fingernail, but in these spots, the surface is very smooth. So at the end of the day, even without full contact, this worked fairly adequately. No wonder we had so many people suggesting this one. This actually worked tremendously well. And now we all know that an angle grinder disc actually works, and quite well as a clutch disc. 107%. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Get your car near for us to fit one of these to it.